Hello, everybody. Welcome to the course on Foundations of Statistics and Visualization in Python. My name is Karen Yang, and I will be teaching you this course. I'm a data engineer. I'm a self-learner of computer science. I program in Python. I'm interested in cloud computing. And I've previously authored two PAC courses, one on Spark and the other on time series analysis in Python. The course overview. What will we learn? Section one, getting started with statistics and visualization. You're gonna start off downloading and installing Anaconda distribution for Python, and that's gonna provide you with access to a bunch of Python libraries such as pandas, NumPy, matplotlib, and stats models. You'll then be introduced to some key aspects of descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, and data visualization. Section two, getting grips with core statistics concepts. You're gonna work with summary statistics to better understand central tendency, data distribution, and spread. You're also going to explore grouping data with use of the split, apply, combine method. And then from there, you're gonna understand the characteristics of a normal distribution with special focus on the standard normal distribution. And further, histogram and quantile plots are used to visually inspect for normality. So we'll take a look at those. And we'll also take a look at confidence intervals calculating the lower and upper bounds with interpretation. Section three, running linear and logistic regression. You're gonna run linear and logistic regression for both the bivariate and multivariate cases. And then the topics discussed in this section include coefficient estimates and their standard errors, the t-statistic and z-statistic, the p-value, and the confidence interval estimates at the 95% level. So basically, you're gonna learn how to interpret and draw inferences from your results. Section four, see and understand your data through visualization. In this section, there are three Python data visualization packages that you will go over, pandas, matplotlib, and seaborn. And you'll start off by using the summary statistics as a basis to understand the characteristics of your data. And you'll look at linear relationships with the use of line plots and scatter plots. Further, box plots are a great visualization tool for summary statistics. Later, you will delve deeper into the shape of your distribution by learning about skewness and kurtosis. And finally, you're going to look at plots that have facet grids, pair grids, and pair plots. And you will also learn how to apply color palettes. Section 5. Updating beliefs with Bayesian inference. You're gonna start off by understanding Bayes' theorem, and you're gonna explore its four component parts, namely the prior, the likelihood, the posterior, and the evidence. And we're gonna take a look at a very classic example for this. Next, you're gonna take a look at statistical hypothesis testing, focusing on two different perspectives, the frequentist and the Bayesian. So we will build a Bayesian linear regression model using simulated data. And then after that, we'll take a look at posterior plots and regression lines. And that's for the linear regression model. Then we will build a Bayesian logistic model taking a look at trace plots and posterior predictive plots. So what are the prerequisites for this course? Well, you should know Python programming. It would be great if you have working knowledge of pandas and NumPy. And it would also be helpful if you had some prior experience working with data. As for the course goals, one goal is that you'll have the basic concepts and statistics and visualization. You'll be able to apply probability to statistics with the use of Bayesian inference and that's a very powerful alternative to classical statistics. Another goal is to calculate and build confidence intervals in Python. 
and you should be able to run basic regressions focused on linear and multilinear. And finally, another course goal is that you'll be able to run hypothesis tests. So without further ado, let's get started.